Hi, I'm Troy with Tsunami Compressed Air Solutions. We're out in the shop and today I want to talk to you about drying systems and why having a drying system in any facility, manufacturing, automotive, mobile applications, why having a drying system of some form is better than just having filters alone. Filters alone do a great job, they're point of use uh, and they remove water and oil and particulate, oil vapors even, at that point of view so you have very clean air going into whatever application you have or piece of equipment. The reason why you want some form of drying system is drying systems drop water vapor content out of the compressed air system and what water vapor content is it's essentially it's that humidity content. Having high humidity content or water vapor content in your compressed air system means that that air is more likely able to drop out into a liquid form from a gas due to things like pressure drop, which is the energy it takes to push the air and use the air. Uh, rapid expansion is another case that can generate all kinds of moisture, uh, as in like dust collectors where that rapid expansion of the air valves uh, ends up misting or fogging a dust collector and forming liquid on the dust collection bags. So in front of me I have a refrigerated air dryer, a regenerative air dryer, and even a dust compot. Now all three of these technologies have a value and they have a place in the shop. Now if we had a point of view system and we didn't need exceptionally dry air except maybe in one spot or two, I'd probably recommend going into some form of regenerative dryer. The advantage, a little higher upfront cost, but the fact that we're able to take one tower, depressurize it or multiple towers and regenerate it in anywhere from one minute to two minutes and then cycle to the next tower and the next, we essentially are replacing our media every minute or so. Desiccant pots, which are using similar desiccants contained in regenerative dryers, they are a standalone. They are a single desiccant pot. They are great when you need dry air the only issue you have with desiccant pots is it's going to require you to have to manually change that desiccant. Usually they'll come with some sort of indicator to say, I'm starting to change colors, it's time to change my desiccant. Now refrigerated dryers are the most common drying systems out in the market. Uh, they are used big industrial, uh, small industrial, automotive, wherever. Refrigerated dryers are great. What they do is they take the physical compressed air being generated by a compressor and they physically cool the air and as you cool compressed air, no different than cooling humidity on a summer day with your ice cold glass of lemonade, the humidity around that cold air, which in this case is going through a heat exchanger, is going to physically condense water vapor and turn it into a liquid and then a separator, water separator is going to remove that liquid before the air goes downstream. Regenerative dryers or desiccant dryers they chemically grab onto that gas, the water vapor, hold on to it. That gives you dry air going downstream. In the case of regenerative dryers, while one tower is doing the drying and holding onto that water vapor, we depressurize the other tower and we flow some dry air through that media to remove the water vapor. And that is why regenerative dryers cycle back and forth. It's so that it's constantly removing that water vapor and desiccant pots, the, their only downfall is you have to manually change a desiccant. You can regenerate that desiccant on your own and there is a process depending on the manufacturer of how you can go about doing that. Uh, but anyway, most people just simply replace the desiccant. So this desiccant's going to grab onto that water vapor and continue to hold onto it until your indicator starts to change, at which case it's telling you to go ahead and replace the desiccant. In a perfect world, if you can run a refrigerated dryer and pre-treat the air before going into some form of desiccant dryer, the air quality coming out of those desiccant dryers is gonna be that much drier than if you were just feeding into those dryers alone. But if I had to choose between one or the other and my application or my facility required very dry air for most of the applications in that, in that facility, I'm gonna go with a regenerative dryer all day long. But as I said, all three technologies are great drying systems and that's why you need some form of dryers. We wanna grab that water and remove it before it hits our machine or our application where issues can arise from that formation of moisture. If you have any questions, please check us out at tsunami.us.com or give us a call and talk to one of our technical specialists at 800-782-5752. Thank you very much for listening.